The initiative is aimed at consolidating resources and positive experiences of the previous GCCA project, support of the Gambia for Integrated Coastal Zone Management, and the mainstreaming of climate change 2013 to 2016. One of the key activities of the project is coastline greenings, which comprises of planting of coconut trees and mangroves. The scheme seeks to enhance wetland conservation through ecosystem-based approaches. The Environmental Agency, in collaboration with civil society organizations operating along the coastline, such as hoteliers, big bar owners and government institutions, in implementing the coconut planting activity along the coastline. Dr. Dauda Baji, the Executive Director of the National Environment Agency, said this important ecosystem restoration exercise was also conducted at different locations from Senegambia to Jinak Island in the North Bank region. It is envisaged that if coconuts receive the protection and care that it is expected of all, of all of us, then it will be a catalyst for a strong collaboration for the implementation of laudable initiative ahead of for ourselves and the environment. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, planting of coconut along the, the coastline is not something new, but the results over time is not something very encouraging, which means we have been planting a lot of trees, but we don't take care of them, and then we keep on planting. So that's why I'm with the view that we should not shy away from the statement of planting, but the statement of growing plants. When you are growing, at least we'll be able to take care of them. Kemo Fati of Green Up Gambia, who spoke on behalf of the CSOs, said vegetations along coastal areas plays an important role in stabilizing ecological surface against wind erosion and provide habitat for wildlife. Reminding participants of the Banjul Declaration made by former president of the Gambia, Sadauda Karaba Jawara, in 1977 for the need to protect the Gambia. The environmental advocate added that coastal dunes provide a buffer against coastal hazards such as wind erosion, wave overtopping and tidal inundation during storm events. I solemnly declare to pledge my untiring efforts to conserve for now and posterity as wide a spectrum as possible of our remaining flora and fauna. Of course, today we are here at the coastline and this GCCA Plus project has been a significant milestone in protecting our coastline. We all know how vulnerable the Gambia is to sea level rise. As a matter of fact, there has been studies indicating that if we have about a one meter sea level rise, half of Banjul will be inundated and the entire capital city will be left uninhabited. We're not just talking about Banjul. That simply means that we will lose valuable mangrove ecosystems. More than 30% of our mangroves will disappear. And that simply means breeding ground for fish stocks will go down. And most of the people depending here are depending on inland fishing and the ocean for their needs. Urabadi, Deputy Director of Administration at KMC, who represented the Lord Mayor of KMC, and Ms. Mendy, the Ward Councillor of SA Ward, both hail efforts to protect beaches from erosion in addition to beautifying coastlines, assuring their council's commitment to supporting actions geared towards the protection of the country's ecosystem. We need a very good ecosystem to sustain our lives. And as a result, the council has been very much resolved and that has been demonstrated with our partnership with Green Up Gambia. The council will fully participate in the planting of these coconut trees, in the maintenance of these coconut trees, and other efforts that are geared to improve the ecosystem within our municipality where possible beyond. If you go to Jinak now, um, all, uh, some of their lodges all has been swallowed by the, by the river. And this initiative that you guys bring, it will take us a long way. And I'm so glad that from here, we also will go and do our exercise as expected. The Global Climate Change Alliance GCCA Plus is consolidating results and positive experiences of the previous GCCA project, support of the Gambia for Integrated Coastal Zone Management and the mainstreaming of climate change 2013 to 2016, with intervention supporting the attainment of the Banjul Declaration to preserve flora and fauna. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.